All right, everybody, welcome to the secret, secret, secret history living in your aquarium. So, you know, I was looking at this tank, and I wanted to do an arch, a broken arch. And then I started thinking about all the arches that are fake, artificial holes in rocks that you see at the dentist's office and things like that. And I was kind of like, eh, do I want that? And so I started looking at the Cascade Jadeite that we have here in the basalt. And I realized, you know, it all breaks in really interesting fashions. Like this piece could break into there. So it, it and it lays down in these veins. Now with plants obscuring, you know, crypts coming out of here, low growing plants, and then some taller plants up here possibly. Um, and then actually adding in sand all the way down through here, adding more, so that's kind of an island there. Um, I'm thinking that that might be more of the style that I'm interested in. Now, uh, nothing's for certain, because a lot of times you'll set something up, and then you'll be like, you know what, I think I want to totally do the opposite. But... I do want room to plant things, so maybe I have too many rocks in here. My rocks tend to get lost in my aquascapes. I also tend to like to draw the back of the aquascape up at least a third of the height of the um, tank, and right now it's like one, two, three, it's like a fourth of the height in that far corner. And just because everybody's probably going to be like, is that rock leaning on the glass? No, it's it's actually just a weird shaped rock, but it's anchored all the way down. Um, but the coloration on the rocks will change. Some of these rocks were just in a tank. So you can see the algae uh, growing or the uh, moss growing. You can see even like nearite snail eggs. But my thought is to leave enough space back here to do like a rotala or something nice and fiery uh, to give a contrast flaming mountain scene or something because the other thing was I was thinking oh I'll do iwagumi or jungle and I'll have all this green greenery and plants and uh, I kind of thought a little longer and I thought you know with this light that's going to be intense with the co2 with a fertilizing regime do I need all that like honestly do I even need for instance, these rocks, like they're cool shaped rocks with neat banding on them. But do I need them? Do they do anything extra for the aquascape? And I don't know the answer right this second. I'm still kind of playing with things. You know, maybe we'll put this rock here. Or actually, let's let's tilt it so the pattern continues of this kind of broken chain of of rocks but i mean maybe that's plenty of rocks and the, you know we'll get some little pebbles or crumbled pieces or maybe even just you know some random loner rock down here uh, it's right now i would need one more nice solid pillar either next to here or right there for it to be like a true iwagumi style tank also, I had planned on more sand showing, and that still may happen, but this is just preliminary. This is pool uh, filter sand. So as you can see, it's uh, HTH uh, pool filter sand, 12 bucks for 50 pounds of that stuff. And then this is $50 for 20 pounds, I believe. And then we've got Fluval Stratum, and then this was Amazonia 2.0, or, or uh, number two, I guess, and... Um, dark rather than tan which i think is going to work with this blue stone so i'm just kind of imagining what else is going to go in here i do have some manzanita let me show you that really quick um that could look cool um i have all sorts of other stuff around the house and the other thing i have that uh might go back in there and things might get moved around is like i've got this giant stone that has all this uh, all this beautiful moss growth on it that I could trim up. You see that? Um, and that could be ready to go and already look mature in this in this tank. But finally, we have a big enough tank also that you know we could do something uh, 
like this, you know, that looks stupid. Um, we can't do anything like that, guys. Um, we could do something like this, though, you know, uh, hide that back piece a little bit. We could do something very natural for the fish so that the the plants and the stones actually look low and that gives them more swimming area. This could even crest the top a little bit, come right up here. I don't know. What are you guys thinking? What should I do here? Uh, I can go get more of this stone. That's not a huge deal. But I, I just like the way it weathers. This stone and that stone and that stone have all been in the water. These ones are more uh, dry, haven't been in the water yet. Um, and then this manzanita will be uh, nice, beautiful red. But I just don't know if I want to even put wood in this one. I don't know. Um, let's see if there's, you know, another reasonable position you could put it in. You could hide something with plants. That's the other thing is you have to imagine plants are really going to obscure a lot of what's going on. So you could put this kind of like this, almost hanging over a, a, a graveyard looking like a foreboding. Let's see if, can I get that propped up on anything? Looking like a foreboding tree. Um, hold on, let's see here. Honey, could you? Never mind. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about like that? That could be an interesting look. So, and then we'll obviously, once things are cycled, things are uh, settled, then what we'll do is we'll bring in the actual ADA sand that's a little more expensive and it's a little a little more colorful. Uh, it's like a Colorado sand, I think is the name of the color. But we'll bring that in and we'll pipe it around the edges once we get everything planted and the messy stuff's done. And also the cycling is done. But I'm just kind of really feeling this. I wish I could get one more big old boulder up there. But it really does take away from planting area. And I can only use epiphytes or uh, rootless um, plants for that. And so I just, I'm not sure if I want to do that. I kind of want to have more wispy plants kind of in that back area. And then short crypts and other intensely colored but manicured um, bright plants and I could do planar fish, but the other thing is I want to hide some PVC caves in these mounds, in these mounds here, for the epistogramma and, uh, or the uh, rams, whatever I end up putting in there. Uh, so let me know what you guys think would look best. Uh, once underwater, those rocks, the colors will kind of pop, but also they'll kind of look like they go together more, especially with plants tied around them since they're from two different quarry sites. Now, coming back downstairs, let me show you the old tank, because I pretty much raided that old tank for its stones. So here, here's that uh, Colorado, Colorado sand uh, that I was talking about. Uh, it's a little finer in its finest grain and a little rougher in it, or a little bigger in its rough grain. Here you can see what a beating all the plants took when I moved this tank, but everybody is alive and well, and, uh, you know, it looks like the shrimp and everybody are just kind of uh, unsure of what's going down, but they, we, they, they, they have uh, announced upon a megaphone that they will rebuild, so uh, I take their word for it, uh, and... We'll see what becomes of this tank. But this is its new home for now. So that's what's cracking here. We've got this tank, this tank, this one, the shrimp are dying in. So I'm going to try to get the shrimp out of this tank, I believe. And, uh, you know, I do have another big stone here. It's just not really the right color. Um, and then this one, I think we're going to open this up into a whole new scape. Into like a... Um, what's the word a uh kind of like a nursery tank since it's got the nice light it's got co2 so that'll probably be the nursery tank of rare plants and things like that rather than this kind of swampy garami danyo tank that it's doing now and then i can return these tanks to their kind of previous uh task which was for breeding now upstairs i really did want 
to have, uh, hold on, let me wash my hands real quick. Washing the hands, or washing the hands, or washing the hands, I do. Um, all right, so I really wanted to, though, have something in the sand, like enough sand. I might have to go buy more pool filter sand uh, to make it so that the Corydoras and some of the other fish, so that they can dig in the sand and kind of play in it, unlike they have had room before in, in the past. So you can kind of see probably the trail of sand that I was imagining, which would be like this, and then tapering. Maybe a wing goes up here, and then there's just crypts and little plants, you know, Monte Carlo and things planted here, and then some bigger crypts here. I don't know. The, the rocks will inevitably probably get overgrown. So I'm treating them probably more like cobblestones, because I want to put in the bark... Clay Longifolia and Laganandra Meboldi both can reach the top of the tank. And so things may need to shift like this might need to come out to put that in the corner. I don't know. So it's kind of changed from the island to kind of the triangle with two humps. I don't know. Let me know what you guys are thinking. It's kind of like every time I get a tank, it becomes a slight midlife crisis in my uh, planning abilities and so let me know what you think you would do uh unless it's like burn the thing down then i don't want to hear from you all right guys if you stuck around this long you probably like the content you're probably curious where this is going so please like if you're not subscri subscribed see i can't even talk i'm so excited and so midlife crisis did uh if you want to see where this tank will go subscribe click that little bell that that uh you know you can ring and it'll bug you every time i have anything to say do that uh youtube loves it uh, and then if you really want to see my schools of fish make it to college, Patreon, uh, you can buy my artwork on Teespring shirts and all that stuff will be linked below. All right, guys, take care of the critters you keep, the family and company you keep, and also take care of yourself so you can keep doing those other two things. I will talk to you next time. And uh, just a reminder, swim on.